everybody, Sean from Movie Assault here, and it's time for episode 7 of the Halloween 15 from 2023. And this time around, I would like to review I Bury the Living from 1958, starring Richard Boone. And this is um, the copy I, I bought from uh, Shout Factory or Scream Factory. Uh, this is also available for free on Prime Video and um, quite a number of other uh, streaming services, but none of them will look as good as this Blu-ray. This Blu-ray looks fantastic. Uh, I Bury the Living, as you can see, it sort of looks like it's sort of some kind of zombie movie, and with the title, that's kind of what it um, looks like or sounds like. Uh, and it says, when the moon rises, he fills the graves with screaming women and terror-struck men. And this is a creature to freeze your blood, a story to chill your soul. Um... In all honesty, this is not a zombie movie, and it's not even that scary of a horror film. It's more of a thriller, uh, a very tension-filled thriller. Uh, what happens is Richard Boone plays Robert Kraft, who is elected to be the chairman of a local cemetery, and there's sort of this revolving chairmanship that happens amongst the uh, community and business owners in this town, and it's his turn. And he tries to get out of it by saying he's busy, he has too much to do, but he's kind of forced to do it. So he goes to the cemetery and he meets up with the ground, groundskeeper, Andy, who's played by Theodore Bickle. And Andy shows him this map on this, the office wall. And in the map, there are, or on the map rather, there are plots, all of the plots in the cemetery. And each one has either a black pin or a white pin. And the black pin means that that particular plot has been filled, it was purchased, and someone's buried there. And the white pin indicates that the plot has been purchased, but has not yet been filled. So on his first day at the job, he is, Robert Kraft is approached by a local couple who was just married, and they want to purchase two plots on the cemetery. So Kraft goes into the office and marks the plots as purchased, but instead of putting white pins in, he puts black pins in. And very shortly afterwards, he receives news that the couple has died. And so that kind of shakes him a little bit because he realizes his mistake and he wonders if he's caused the death of this newlywed couple. So he decides he'll swap out a pin on the map from white to black and see if anything happens. And of course, if nothing happens, he, his conscience is clear and there's nothing to worry about. Well, it turns out that that person passes away as well. And then he he brings this to the attention of the police. He brings this to the attention of his family, his friends, and they all think that he's crazy. It's just a coincidence. Well, uh, they sort of order him to change some of the pins on the map just to show him that this is just a coincidence. And you can guess what happens. And I'll leave it at that. But this is kind of an interesting kind of, kind of a character study of Robert Kraft into how this affects him. And it kind of ratchets up the tension because he slowly starts to become more depressed and disturbed by the fact that he may be responsible for the deaths of these people. Um, and, you know, despite all the assurances from his family, his friends, that he's not responsible, he feels an incredible amount of responsibility. And as more people end up dying, he feels more and more responsible, like he's got this strange power and he doesn't know what to do with it. What I really liked about this film is, aside from the name, which is awesome, I Bury the Living, um, is the performance by Richard Boone as Robert Kraft. The, the script really helps him out because it shows him reacting to the news that he may be responsible for these deaths in a believable way. He doesn't try to keep it to himself. He tries to immediately let people know that he thinks this is happening and their reactions are equally as believable. Oh, it's just a laughable coincidence. They're not really laughable, but, you know, it's not really happening. You know, he's he's not responsible for these deaths. And the fact that it does keep happening, and, you know, we get to see him slowly unravel and become more depressed and tortured as time goes on. Uh, so that's what I really enjoyed about this. Uh, also, it was directed by Albert Band, and the cinematography was done by Frederick Gately, and Gately did a lot of work in TV, so this sort of looks like an extended episode of The Twilight Zone. It kind of feels that way, too, um, because there are some interesting transitions where scenes, instead of cutting to black, it almost looks like it's setting up 
what would be a transition to a commercial break, but of course one doesn't happen because this is not a TV film. Uh, it's just very interesting. It, there's, it's not a knock on it. I just found it kind of interesting in the setup of the movie and the way it was shot. Um, and despite the fact that the film, you know, kind of promises something that it doesn't deliver, it's not about zombies and it's not about um, creatures freezing your blood or men and women being screamed, screaming as they're buried or anything like that, it's still an effective and very interesting um, study of a man driven to madness by what he thinks is happening. Uh, and I really, I really enjoyed it up to the end, which is a bit of a cop out. I won't say what happens. Had this had a more effective ending or a more unusual ending, I guess I would have enjoyed it more. But as it is, I Bury the Living is a very good movie um, for what it is, which is just a B movie um, horror film, I guess. Uh, and I also have to make note of the music by Gerald Fried, which is uh, also very good. I've noted his name in quite a few things that I've reviewed lately, and uh, his work is very good. Um, so yeah, other than the cop-out ending, I highly recommend I Bury the Living, and I gave it a 6 out of 10. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for episode 8 of the Halloween 15, which will be coming up soon. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.